Good morning. If you are watching us live, please feel free to say hello. Um, but equally, if you're watching on replay, feel free to acknowledge and wave or like or comment, whatever you want to do to just show that you were here and present. Um, Pip again, and I'm here again with Michael today. And we're starting the first of our this term's topic, which is all about mythical creatures. So we are going to be using photos from real actual animals and trying to create, recreate mythical creatures um using the various body parts and using them as inspiration so we're still going to stick with the realism aspect of the artwork but um obviously creating creatures that we haven't necessarily got actual photos of hi jill emily and freya um and hi joe as well thank you for joining us um yes yeah, so obviously i don't happen to have a photo of a dragon so we are improvising and i've chosen this image of an iguana so I just think um, when you look at his face, there's just something very dragony looking about him, something quite menacing about his eye. I do like iguanas. I think they're quite cool, interesting animals. Um, and then you might have seen from the reference pictures as well, I've used an image of a bat because we're going to use that as inspiration to create the dragon wings as well. So it's a new challenge, even for me. I've never done this before, but we're going to give it a go. It's going to be tricky, I think, trying to get that wing onto that lizard and doing it in a way that make it, makes it look like it's a natural part of the body. So we're going to be experimenting together. Now, I have chosen the colours I'm going to be using, and I've kind of linked it as much as, as closely as possible to the reference image. But that being said, you can change the colours because um, your dragon could be any colour you wanted. So I would have probably, if I was to do another one, I'd, I'd probably use like blues and purples and things. What are you using, Michael? Red, brown, cyan, brown. So a darker brown and but, green. So you've got some brighter colours in there as well. So feel free, like a, with every one of our draw-alongs, feel free to add your own uh, creative flair to it. Don't feel like you have to copy what we're doing. If you want to work from different referencing images, you can, um, because there is no right or wrong answer, and especially with a dragon. Um, so shall we get started? I'm going to be working on my page landscape this well, and that's going to give me more room to be able to get in the different features. And what I'm going to do, first of all, is start by sketching out the body of the iguana and then making sure I leave space for the wings. So I want the wings to be um, open as if he's getting ready to fly. Uh, good lift, home ed. Sorry, people at the cinema. We'll watch on catch up. Ah, oh, so jealous. What are you going to see? We, we want to go and see Avatar soon, don't we? That's going to be good at the cinema. Let's don't apologise, to be fair. I'm not <laughs> Would I rather be at the cinema? I don't know. It's Easter holidays now. It's going to be busy out there. Um, we are drawing a dragon, not a dinosaur. So we're going to get, create, um, merge together wings and a lizard. So bat wings and lizard to create a dragon today. So I'm going to start off trying to plot out um, the, the shape of the body. So I'm going to really roughly draw this in. I'm not going to be able to show you my reference image and the page at the same time. So definitely you'll need your own reference image to be working from because there's just not enough room on my desk for all of that. So uh, I'm going to start with the eye. I'm going to roughly put it here and then get his face in. I do love the way his face just looks so dragon-like. Now, this is really rough sketching. I'm just trying to get the shapes in at the moment. I'll go back and add in the proper details and shapes once I'm happy that it's going to fit on my page, because you know what I'm like. I end up cropping something really important off, like the wings or something. So I'm sketching his back legs and his big feet and his big toes. And I'm actually going to use artistic license because I haven't left enough room for his towel and I want his towel really long. I'm going to curve it round so that I can include it all into the image. So roughly speaking, that's the body of my what will be dragon very rough and then i'm going to flick to the wing so that i can add in the wing hi Gemma, thanks for joining us now what's really important i think with the wing or what i wanted to highlight if you haven't seen it already so a lot of people associate bats as being rats rat-like creatures with wings but actually when you look at them they look more closely related to primates and what i mean by that is you see this arm if you count these little joints here, they're basically a hand. So this is the thumb here. You've got the fourth finger, the second finger, 
third and fourth there. And they've got the same joints, number of joints as us in our fingers as well. So effectively, they've got great big hands and then this webbing in between. So that's kind of what I want to show and depict. So what I'm going to do is roughly plot where I think this wing's going to go. I think it's going to start here and I'm going to draw in. I'm not drawing the wing. I'm drawing that those joints first of all, and then I can add the webbing in after. That's the first joint and then the thumb coming out here. Now I'm going to struggle to fit this entire wing in, but we'll do our best. It might be that I have to crop some of the wing out. So that finger joint there, that one, I'm oh, sorry, that one is quite a long one. That's going to give us the size of our wing. Now here on the on the bat, the, the webbing joins to his back foot. Now I don't think that's going to be too, I mean, we could try it. We could try and join our webbing to the back leg of the iguana to draw it in there. Or you could come back so that it joins to there. Now I don't think that will create quite the right shape for the wing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a go. I'm gonna try and join the web in so that it attaches to the back the rear leg. Why not? There's no rules here. So you can see I've, there's a whole section of wing missing for me, but if I was to try and draw the wing in proportion, we'd have a really small actual dragon part. And I want to be able to get some of those details in. Another way around this is if we'd folded the wings up on his body. But I think that that would have been not as exciting to see his wings folded up. That's looking good, Michael. That's a really good start. Um, so I'm going to go back to now the image of the lizard, the iguana, and start thinking about some more of these details and getting him looking a bit more iguana-like because he's a bit... Um, not at the moment you just got an odd looking face and i really want to make sure to get that because i think that's what makes it really look like a dragon i'm gonna get my putty rubber out are we gonna add the spikes on it we could add the spikes so the reason i didn't put the spikes on straight away was because obviously the wing's going to hide a lot of them so what we can do is add on the spikes that you can see on the reference image the other thing we need to do is actually get the other wing in because you can see one he wouldn't have one wing up and one wing down really would he so what we've got to try and do is replicate the other wing on the other side. Oh, that thumb would be lower down. It'd be lower than the other one. And this would look smaller than the other side as well because it's further away. Yeah? Does that mm -hmm. make sense? When we add the colour and tone, we'll be able to see that a bit better. So when are we going to add the other wing? I just did it. So all you see is just like a little section there. Oh, that's, that's my face from down there. <laughs> so, let's fix this face. I want to make sure I've got the eye shape correct. He's got uh, like an almond-shaped pupil. He's got a really defined brow bit. Let's move this. He really does look quite prehistoric, don't I? Mm. And, and getting these scales details in as well are going to be quite tricky. Make sure his nostrils there. You can just see his mouth. And where he's got no fur, obviously, like some of the animals we've been drawing, you can really see the sort of skeletal structure and the muscles on him as well. So they're quite defined. For anyone that was doing the fish illustration with us a couple of weeks ago, those the way that we drew the scales and depicted the scales will come in useful to the, for this tutorial as well. And you can sort of see folds in his skin as well. I'm going to try and draw them in as I go. Uh, 
And then as Michael said, add some spikes in as well. And they don't all go in like a really neat line. There's, they're not completely symmetrical in line with each other. So you want to try and avoid just repeating the same shape, like a perfect triangle each time, because that won't look so realistic. So I'm going to change the shape and the size of them slightly, each one you draw. I'm going to come down and get this arm in now. Like I say, you can sort of see the, the muscles in his limbs, which you want to depict because, it's, you know, we're not just drawing a lizard, we're drawing a dragon. So we want to make it look as powerful as possible. And get those claws in. His front foot's at a funny angle in this photo, but we're going to give it a good shot. See if we can get those toes in. Oh, that was a bit long. And then I'm going to go to his back foot. So I'm going to start with his knee. Just going to check. Does everyone hear and see everything all right? Only just because it seems quieter today and I'm not getting many comments. Might just be that you're all working really hard and concentrating. Okay. So we've got the thigh there and then his back foot. And he's got a really long middle toe. I mean, all the toes are quite long. This, and then try and create the sort of jointed bits as well, the knuckly bits. Again, I'm going to crop mine off slightly. Oh, I've got my portions all wrong today. If you wanted to add like a spike or something at the end of your towel, you could. Oh, people are, oh, people are, <laughs> everyone's mesmerized <laughs> or just concentrated. And I'm going to try and get in, I think that's the other front foot that we can see, just the toes. And I'm, the reason I'm putting it, because you could just leave that out really, but you can see the claws really nicely there. And I think that is very dragony. So we're going to try and put them in an all. And a nice thick base to his tail because they've got iguanas got really powerful tails and can whip you with them and like a lot of lizards they can um, shed their tail if they're threatened so if something was to catch them by their tail they can detach their tail from themselves and then regrow it at a later date quite handy I don't know if anyone could hear that in the background, but we've got our little coop of quail. And now we know that spring has sprung because the roosters are starting to make their presence known. They'll start at about five o'clock in the morning now as well. They're not as noisy as normal cockerels, though. I'm going to carry these spikes on as well in his tail. And they get sort of smaller and smaller. Well, I've got one random big one there. We'll change it. As you go along the tail. So, the tricky bit now is going to be the wing and making it look like it's a natural part of this body. So I'm going to switch to my bat image again. And again, on the bat image, you can see um, lots of little veins. So that's a nice detail to maybe add in at some point to make it look more realistic. I'm going to create almost like a knuckle point here. And 
and then I'm merging the leg with the webbing of the wing but I'm going to still you've got to still show the whole leg really it's just going to be maybe when we add color it will make more sense to us I think and then I'm going to add I can see little knuckly bits for the joints like our finger joints so I'm going to try and add them in as well along here rather than just having straight lines I've lost his thumb bit, so I'm going to just add that in. Cool. I'm quite happy with that. That is not bad for my first dragon, inspired by an iguana and a fruit bat. I'm pretty sure it's a fruit bat. Get rid of some of these rough lines now before i start adding color i am going to go back and just add some scale details as well it's i don't think i'm going to have time to sort of get this level of detail that you can see in the pictures but some of the bigger scales certainly we can add in so around this little cheek bit he's got some bigger scales so i'm going to just pencil them in and then try and um when i'm shading just be aware of those scales trying to pick them and so again look at the image because they change in size and almost in the direction that they're growing as well. you've got plenty of time today this is where you could put your additional time is putting in these um, scales I think when I come to doing the arms and stuff it's probably more that I'm just going to do it with the shading create this sort of mottled spot spotted look and actually what I'm going to do now that I've looked at this picture again I'm going to draw in these stripes as well because I'll forget to put them in when I'm shading in a minute otherwise. But your dragon could have any kind of markings really, couldn't it? Any kind of patterning. You think of a snake and the sort of different pattern types you can get. There's some like diamond shapes, for example, or even with spotted areas. Cool. Our chickens have started laying eggs again now it's spring. Yes, Jill. So, yeah, we've got the same with the quail. They've just started popping them out. And Hannah, not looking like a dragon mine. It's not looking like, oh, well, keep going with it because we're at the early stages yet. And I think once we add colour and we can start sort of merging the wings in and everything, and then you can go back even after you've added colour, you can add in other details to build it up and and um, make it more more realistic as a dragon. If we stick with it, you're more likely to get a dragony looking image than if you give up. So keep going. So I think I'm ready to start adding colour. I'm going to start, as always, with his eye, which is like an orangey brown. So it's like darker around the edges. Oh. And then lighter towards the pupil. Now I'm going to really be a bit brave with my colour today. So I normally am a bit cautious with how much colour, as in how deep the colour is, but I think I'm just going to go for it today, mainly because <laughs> I've drawn really harsh, like compared to my other drawings, my dark, my pencil lines are quite dark, so I think I'm going to have to <laughs> just go for it with the colour. Now, I'm saying that the majority of his colour on the image is quite a, like a light grey. Oh, what's going on there? And then there's sort of like a, almost like a mint green coming through on some of the scales around his face. So I'm going to try and do that.
Sorry. Bash the camera there. And when you're adding the colour, this is where you can add in other detail as well as you're going along. So he's got more green around his eye, his eyelid as well. Getting on, Michael? Good. And then I've got a brighter green as well that I'm going to try and add in as I go. Try and blend them in because I think the mint green is a little bit too minty. Don't want it to look like toothpaste. That's better. Well, <laughs> I went to scratch my face and I don't know what's up with me today. All over the place. Come on. There we go. Bash the camera. Gemma, bye. I'm going to finish later. No worries. Oh, and if you didn't know, Gemma, come back between 6 and 9 p.m. Look out for the post of the photo of this image, my, my finished drawing. And um, upload your picture for some feedback if you want some. Yeah, it's a nice sunny day for a lot of people. So if you want to make the most of it and come back to it, that's mm -hmm. why we keep it available on replay. It's still a bit cold though in the air, isn't it? Mm, not really. I went outside today with short things. Yeah, but you, you do bizarre things like that. <laughs> you do good before going to the park unless you don't want to get too busy though. We could do later, could we? The beach would definitely be packed. Oh, I doubt it. It's not that warm. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, because this is a colder you get. Well, the further, the further you go to see, the colder it is. Because Does it? Yeah, with the breeze, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just adding in some darker tones now so I can sort of build up some form because the image was looking a little bit flat. So I'm getting the breaking the black pencil out. You might notice I've got a new one. You know, I said that we te I tend to go through the black pencil. A lot quicker than any of the other colours, so I've replaced it. <laughs> but um, I want to sort of build out a bit more tone and depth. I think there's quite a lot of blue in it. What, in your one or no, the image? The yeah, image. there is some sort of bluey, greeny, minty tones, isn't there? Yeah. I'm not going to, although I said I'm being braver with the colour, so I'm, putting, I'm being a bit more bold with the colour I'm using. I'm, I am sticking to sort of, he is mostly rock coloured. So I'm going to try and stay true to the image as possible. I'm just lightly putting a light on here now. Yeah. Right. I might put a bit of blue. So here's a fun fact, iguanas have got a third eye. Yeah. Well, we call it a third eye. It's not really technically an eye, but I think it's in their forehead. They've got um, it's it's like a sensory gland that can de depict certain shapes and colour and stuff like that. Like, like the horse, uh, the horse's eyes, how they're shaped. No, no, no. They've got an extra bit. This is different. Yeah, oh. bizarre, isn't it? Yeah. And some iguanas can run up to 30 miles an hour. Oh my God. That's pretty fast. Yeah. That's like one of the petrol go-karts. 
Yeah. Hannah's asked, can she see your drawing? Um, sure. Yeah. I think he's doing a good job at this. I like the face. I like the this is Michael so far. I like the face. I like the eye. Mm, I, I like I like the wing. You're doing a good job, the, Michael. Yeah, the <laughs> Oh, lost my pencil. Right, there we go. Right, let's get cracking with some of these darker tones. I don't put enough green in. Would you say there's a bit of like grey in the body too? Yeah, I mean when you if you were to look at each scale, there's probably like a mixture of black, grey and green there. I've got a shiny um And I finished yours already. My god. Wow. You guys are so quick. <laughs> just getting warmed up maybe it's my age <laughs> Some nice comments coming in about yours michael yeah how to change your track <laughs> yeah, yeah how to yeah, yeah. yeah it does doesn't oh, it some, um... i can't remember the name of it but i know the yeah it does look like the, one like of the dragons spot? from how uh, the blue one that can shoot out spikes i can't remember the name now or the um Brown one, what was it called? Yeah. Oh, I can't remember any of the names. Yeah. I can't even remember the main character name, and I love that one. Toothless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Uh, Get some of these spikes in, shall we? I can't remember it now. This is definitely a drawing you could spend an awful long time on. Meat log. A... Yeah, meat log. <laughs> really Joe's like. obviously a big fan of How to Train Your Dragon. <laughs> He's like brown. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely an image you could you could spend hours on this easily. Mm. It's just so fascinating why you delicately draw on it. Right, what am I going to do with this leg? So I think I'm going to put down the base of the green. And then go over with the black to try and make it look like that sort of spotted effect you, you can see. Looks like his foot is in the, the light more, so that I'll try and keep it slightly lighter. <laughs> how to train your dragon? Sure. Ah, Joe said, how, maybe yeah. we could study how to train your dragon for the next book club. Yeah, we need cool. another book club. Everyone wants another book club, I Joe. Like oh, I think I actually have a book of how to train your dragon in. Is it the book though? Nah, is it like a I think it's just like spin off one. Yeah, yeah. It's got like another story in it. So. Joe looked me up some dragon facts, and I can't remember them now. I did read them ever so quickly, and I was going to share with everyone. So um, one of the things, like obviously, we say, oh, they're mythical creatures. They're not real. But what I find interesting is that they you can trace them back in almost every culture around the world. What are the chances of that? You know, what are the chances that every culture has them in their history at some point? I think they're real. You think they're real? Definitely. So you think they're like terrifying monsters or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're not our friends. Maybe, maybe, no, 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 no. They could be friends, but they can be like, still have powers, terrifying powers. What, do you, what sort of powers do you think they are? Do you think they can breathe? Definitely, yeah. Breathe fire? Because that's always been in like books and stuff. Yeah, ice. Maybe, maybe there's one that makes like anything out of bones. It'd be a weird power. That would be a weird power. Make anything up. I thought that was a cute fact. Joe said a ba a little dragon is called a dragonette. <laughs> That's quite. It makes it sound really cute. Hmm. I'm going to go with the same colours on his body as I am on his wings to try and make it look like it's all part and parcel. So I'm going to start with the knuckly bit in the same greys. 
this could evolve. This could change several times as I'm doing this. I'm making this up as I go along, quite clearly. I'm going to reference the bat image just to sort of get the the, uh, the shading a bit better. I think your one looks really cool. They're really Thank you. realistic. I don't have a... Oh, no, it looks like a realistic iguana. What I want to make it look like is a realistic dragon. So let's see if we can do that. It's the way you put, like, the pencil line. It's really dark. You think that's helped? Yeah. I have to use a pen for that. And I think I will go with green in the, in the actual, like the webbing bit as well. Hmm. Oh, so much it's, a, it's a complicated image, this yeah. one, isn't it? Because we're effectively doing two in one. Most Western cultures view dragons as evil or dangerous in their legends. Whereas Eastern cultures see them as lucky, prosperous, and protectors. Definitely, yeah. You think of China I'm... and uh, the way they're celebrated in I'm the New dragon. Year. I'm a dragon. Oh, yeah, I'm the Chinese horoscope. Michael's a dragon. Water dragon, I am. I'm a rat. <laughs> Not quite as glamorous, them. is it? Yeah. But they're, like, quite generous and stuff, aren't they? In terms of personality yeah. traits, yeah. The dragons are, like, I can't We looked this up recently, didn't we? Because yeah. we started the Chinese New Year. It's like shy for a dragon, and yeah. I'm gonna take the same colours I used in the claws up here as well, so that you're sort of merging the two designs together. If that makes sense. I'm not a, I'm not a I want to draw them in my my way. My I can't remember the name now. Um, well, I draw all that cubic. Yeah, oh, you haven't drawn a cubic yeah. style today. Yeah, no, I've, that's I've true. Done more Developing a new style. Yeah. All right. Do this one. Do this one. Let's go with some greens on this webbing. And I might use this opportunity as well to get some of those veins in place that I can see on the back picture. A bit okay, like yeah. leaf veins. It's a very similar sort of look. Or like lightning. They all sort of come off of each other. How you draw that perfectly shaped light, lightning? Well, you just wobble your It's not like, it. yeah, it's not like drawing a straight line, so you don't have to be accurate with it. Just get <laughs> just, yeah, wobble your line. Yeah, they're sort of all they're all going in the same direction, pretty much. Yeah. Hmm. How do we make that look like it's part of there? Typically in Western, Western Towers and Myths, they are winged, horned, and breathe fire, whereas in Eastern cultures, they're wingless and more serpent-like. Yeah, again, yeah. you think of the Chinese New Year. And Harry Potter. What one are you thinking of? The Chambers of Secrets. That was a basilisk. Yeah. That wasn't it? They're both basic. No, if, if you think of Harry Potter, they're winged because you think of um, the Goblet of Fire. They're mostly winged and refired, aren't they? And they're doing the challenge where they have to yeah, get there. Yeah, but again, uh, but, mm, mm. We've opened up a whole debate here now. Because <laughs> the serpent has poison, doesn't it? The basilisk. Yeah, the yeah. Basilisk. that's more linked to a snake, isn't it? Yeah, but just a bigger. It's like half half dragon and half like snake, kind of, and half lizard. I'd say. Maybe. Mm. No, because it hasn't got. Look, it's green. Yeah, but so is a snake. Mm, yeah, okay, <laughs> there. There. I did, I did. Right, that is two green. So I'm going to put in some of the other colours that we've been using. So I'm going to have a bit of the mint in there around the limbs.
My cut, my drag is very colourful. It That's definitely cool. gets seen quite a lot. If 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 it had powers, it'd probably be invisibility because it, it's it's like opposite. It's, it's camouflage, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Too good. Yeah, no, because I mean, like, it's got lots of colours, so it's quite bright. Yeah. But and then it could have like a power opposite, so it could go turn into visible and blend and stuff. Mm. Well, a bit like a chameleon then. Yeah. So yeah, taking the traits of another lizard. Yeah. Are we doing it next week? Take us. Uh, I don't. We haven't got one next week because it's Bank Holiday Monday. Oh right, yeah. But the next week we are doing, I think, the Griffin, I believe. Ooh. So that's looking at a lion and an eagle. Oh, that would be cool. Wait, um, on sort of the Griffin, we could have used um, what Dumbledore has as a. You want about a phoenix? Yeah, the phoenix. But then, so the phoenix, we haven't got a photo of a phoenix because it's another myth mythical creature. Oh, yeah. Mm. So we get a oh, photo yeah. of an e. Yeah, yeah get it? Yeah. Get it now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would have been cool, though. You could do a phoenix at some point in your own time. Yeah. I think my favourite mythical creature is probably a, either a dragon or a phoenix. We're doing an alicorn as well one week. What's that? Basically, it's a it's a cross between a Pegasus and a unicorn, so like a, a horse that's got a alicorn. unicorn horn and wings. Yeah. Alicorn, that's what I I didn't know it was an actual thing. I was like, oh, I couldn't decide between Pegasus and unicorn, so we just do both. And then somebody educated me on the, during the live and said, actually, that's called an alicorn. I was like, oh, I didn't realise. See, I'm learning all the time, learning with you. Mm. Right, so I'm going to flip back to my image of the iguana now, try some of this body in. I'm worried about because it's 25 to already. And I've not got to do the actual painting bit yet. I don't. <laughs> you prefer not to, don't you? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, because I get I always muck it up when I'm painting it. It's a whole other skill yeah. controlling the back of the water. I yeah, I can't do it. Mine's very blue. Bluey green. That's the bluey purple is what I would probably would want to experiment with at some point. Oh yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. I think like some of the gemstones you've got on your shelves, this, those bluey purple ones are the ones oh, that yeah, I like I've the most. Oh, yeah, I've got one of them over there. You'd use that as inspiration, couldn't you? Yeah, it's got like blue and, yeah. It's like one where it's like all, uh, all the colours just mushed up together, but you can still see the colours. Yeah. So it doesn't turn to like black or brown straight away. No, no, it's just green. It's hard getting between green and blue. Blend them together. Yeah, it's because it's it's because uh, the green's quite dark and the blue's quite light. So the green. What names are we going to have for these dragons this week? Mm, mine's going to be called um, Blendy. <laughs> blending? What? Because you're blending, blending the colours? No, no, no. Because he's blending everyone. <laughs> ah. Uh, yeah, no. no what about just blend? Yeah. Blend. As a name, then. Yeah, blend. Because it, it blends into stuff. Yeah. That's his defence, is it? Yeah. And and his, his power is probably, like, so that's his defence. Obviously, he's got to have, like, attack power. What, what would that be? Uh, Fire? No, it's too, it's too, that's too like... Um, Typical. Yeah, it's always like, it's always like power. Um, oh, he's got lots of blues in. Maybe he breathes ice instead of fire. Again, it's always like in the storm. Too predictable. <laughs> like, you know that dinosaur in Jurassic World where it spits venom? I don't remember that one. Oh, he's, it's, he, it spits venom and like the. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, the one with the collar, the frills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Quite cool, isn't it? Maybe it oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Cause it's got, got a bit of green on it. So. Well, it spits like acid, doesn't it, effectively? Yeah, no, it is acid, yeah. I call it venom. Yeah, yeah. Venom. <laughs> I was thinking for the tower, I just do different colours. Go for it. Colourful tower. 
again, like you said, when it because the towers are really strong, it just wipes people now. Mm. That's what I was thinking to do now. <laughs> Get some of these black stripes in now. What would your powers be for that? One? Mm. Like, so you can have one power and one defense. His power is going to be in his towel because he's based on an iguana. Yeah. So his towel is going to be like his attack. And then his defence. His defence will be that he can fly really fast away. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, yeah. <laughs> away. Yeah, the, the defence, This that's just a typical flying because it's a dragon, basically, isn't it? That's not really power. It's just a, it's like a bird. Maybe birds or dragons. Well, they've said, haven't they, that there's a lot of links now. They're look, looking at the um, links between dinosaurs and birds, mm, like, especially like raptor type. Was it Galatasaurs or was it crocodiles? No, uh, were in the. Well, yeah, they're, they're they're basically the modern day dinosaurs, aren't they? They sort of evolved from they would dinosaurs. They were quite a lot, weren't they? From dinosaurs. Yeah. And if only if we could get the alligators to speak, <laughs> that'd be cool. What would they know? Yeah. What, could yeah. They, what stories could they tell for their ancestry? The real. How did they actually die? <laughs> so, asked, how's everybody's artwork coming along? How are we doing? This is, I found this a challenge, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this is a new one for me. I think drawing a reptile is, a, is tricky for me anyway, compared to like a, um, a fluffy animal. It's a completely different texture, like what we found with the fish. And then a, a, the bat wing as well, again, completely different texture with different um, details to think about. Yeah. Hannah's put good, awesome. And then you forgot all the spikes along his back then. I find this quite fun, merging animals. Yeah, it's different, isn't it? Mm. And I think as well, what we can do when we're when we're working from reference image is to get a bit disheartened if it doesn't exactly like that reference image. Whereas because of what we're doing, it doesn't need to look anything like the reference image because we're creating something new. So it takes that pressure off a bit, I think. I just my pen. <laughs> I draw. I draw it for the lines because I was covering some stuff up. Anyway. Keep Need some darker tones around here. I just done my spikes grey. Mhm. Mm yeah, mine are grey. Yeah. I didn't really know what to do. I thought, oh, just just do grey. Like boring, but still work, doesn't it? I think I'm going to add in a shadow here because I think his wing would be casting a bit of a shadow on his body. Yeah. I, don't, I don't go up and above, I just, I just do my way. <laughs> I like your, your lines. Thank you. Because uh, like, mine are just lines. They just yeah. dance around his tower. More black. I think we've got loads of dark tones going on in the head and I've sort of lost them here, so I need to add in some more. Defined lines, obviously, it looks a bit mismatched. I can do that now. I think I should have just looked at you and thought, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, no, that's a good idea. No, don't get distracted by other people's. It's easy to do that and it's easy to compare, but you've got to find your own style as well, haven't you? Mm. You'll probably find a better way of working than me. How? Just through <laughs> practice. Basically, copied most of you. Yeah, but you're doing it in your own way. I mean, yeah, I've done like um, hexagons, like. Like I've made them so it's got lots of points like on the wing and stuff. Mm -hmm. like, and the you know how you done the circle for the head, like yeah, to stop it. Growing. Um, I've done zigzags instead. That's cool. Oh, now what I need to do is just name it. Oh, it's gonna be... oh yeah, put that. It is the 3rd of April today. Mm. March went on quickly, didn't it? Mm. Nearly Easter, I guess, then. <laughs> yep. Chocolate. <laughs> I have chocolate for the... Um, I won't need any treats for the rest of the... Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that can be full. <laughs> What did I call it? Blend. Blend, you went with. 
I'm going to put the pops down too. Okay, how do we do? 15 minutes. So I think I'm going to have to switch to the watercolour because I'm not going to have time. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Right, I'm going to need a bit of brush. I'm going to start with wings this time, which is completely not what I normally do. Yeah. i blend some of those greens together. Well done, Michael. Who else is still going with me? This is definitely a lengthier drawing, I think. <laughs> Brief colour. Well, that's a good suggestion. Maybe your dragon could breathe colour. Yeah. That would be but what would it be useful for? Oh, like, maybe painting? Yeah. Maybe like, mm, you know how like, um, what's it called? You know the rabbit from Looney Tunes? As in Bugs Bunny? Yeah. Um, he sometimes like paints stuff and then you can go right, he goes right through it, but the, like the baddie or something can't go through it. <laughs> oh, I, I see. So I that could be a dragon that. super. Oh no, look what I've done! <laughs> Because I was rushing, I've, he's got a bit of a uh, smudged towel. Yeah, maybe, maybe, that, maybe that's what I can do. All right, lift my hand off of the paper this time. Let's see if I can fix that in a bit. We'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. Cool. Hmm? It looks like yeah, it's it like on the ground, so I think the hardest bit has got to be the heads. I quite enjoyed doing the head, don't everything else that I've struggled with a bit today. I love the wing though, the wing is brilliant. I like your wing. Thank you. Maybe it's like really big, so it's just like Yeah, it's just it's cut off the sky. Yeah. No, it's in the sky. It's just too much wing for us to I needed A3 paper today, I think. Yeah. I should really put that down. Yeah, there we go, done. I think you're the best bit is probably the head or the wing. Because I like the head. Yeah, the I'm quite spikes. pleased with the head. That's why I'm leaving it mm. like, so that I don't rush that bit with the water. I think that's quite um, quite realistic looking, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Smaller paintbrush. How are Emily and Freya getting on with their dragons? And Jill, how are you getting on with yours? I know that Jill normally joins in as well. I'm surprised some people joined because... Um, it's your holidays. Yeah, but if like us, when you're home ed, it's like, oh, it's yeah. the holidays. Everyone's going to be out and about. <laughs> I'd rather go when it's all quiet and we've got it up to ourselves again. Or we'll go to the cinema and it's empty. Yeah. <laughs> it works as like everyone would be in the cinema or in like in a water park or like swimming. Or we were going to go to the wildlife park, weren't we? And I was like, oh, it's going to be heaving. Yeah. But the park we'll wait a couple stuff. of weeks. Yeah, but the park wouldn't be that busy because it's mm, outside. I think, I think it will. Well, no, I meant like our park. Yeah, no, it's still be busy because people have got kids at home and they want to keep them occupied. Oh, I'm sure they'd be like different. Mm, It'd we'll be see. all teenagers, that's it. We'll see. 
Go All right, I'm going to go in and add the details of this. So try and get the definition of the joint still. And that's a good mix of colours. What, these? There's you. Fraser's blue, Emily's is orange and green, and Jill's is red and orange. Ah, oh, little family of dragons. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I'm quite looking forward to seeing everyone's sort of variations of this, how you've tackled it. Because this, I will not deny, has been a quite a tricky challenge. Is anyone breathing fire? Breathing fire? Well, you, you could draw it breathing fire. Oh, you? I thought you meant like people were breathing fire in the house. I was like, what? <laughs> I don't think they do that. Quite quiet. Freya's breeze ice, nice, I like it. Mm. You could have all the different elements, couldn't you? Well, that would be a hard and that is linked, I think that's linked to some of the culture's beliefs in dragons as well. Let me just check, because I know Jeff, Joe sent me a message about this that said, hang on. Doo -doo -doo. Um, so many cultures associate dragons with the elements and dragons are sometimes known as rainmakers, firebringers and wind blowers. Mm -hmm. There you go. I think if I wanted to have a dragon, just as a pet, you know, as you do, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just fly it around. Oh, I'm just going. I'm just going to pop the it to the shops, mum. Yeah, <laughs> start flying in the in, in the dragon. So like, I'm taking the dragon with me. You don't want to have a defence <laughs> if anyone tries to attack me. Bring fire on them or something. Oh, well, I'll, I'll get some water for them so they don't <laughs> so they don't burn. How am I going to fix this? Oh no, it's not too bad. I smudged the towel. Yeah, so there's like a uh, what's it called? A choose between like choice, choice between dragons on, on like their powers. It there'd be like fire, ice, wind, or all the powers. I'll probably pick all the powers because <laughs> there's more than wind and fire and ice, isn't there? As the elements, yeah, yeah. wind, fire, ice, and earth normally, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what I've had. And isn't there water too? Or does that count as ice? Mine's sticking its tongue out because it might be eating something spicy. I like yeah. that. Oh, have you done a little forked tongue? Does do lizards have forked oh, tongues yeah. or is that is that snake something? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually do that. You're adding that to your it's here? You just inspired Michael. I'm doing snake tongue. Little forked tongue. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna love it called forked tongue. Maybe maybe its tongue is um forked because it it's like a it's like a stabbing machine maybe <laughs> to get his food cans out if you're looking at the other reference images for the other events coming up in the next few weeks and you think you might want to work from a different image just make sure you bring that along with you at those draw along so like i said the griffin is looking at um i think i used an american bald eagle hmm. and then a lion but you could use any any other type of eagle, it doesn't have to be American. You could go to win and do that. You could, yeah, you could incorporate, if you are visiting a zoo or anything, you could incorporate it with your own photographs, if you have any like that, yeah. or, or able to get some. And then we've got um, a chimera at some point, which is a lion again, um, and snake. a gate, and a gate, a, a goat and a snake. So, um, and I've chosen an image that shows the, the tongue of the snake. That's what made me think of it because we were just talking about the snake tongue. Mm -hmm. And uh, Emily and Freya and Jill have donated an, a photograph they took of Pancake the goat from the local farm that Emily, Freya and Michael all go to. Um, so we're going to be using that reference image. But again, if you, just, if you look ahead, I've created all the events for this term so you can see what images we're going to be using. So if you don't like them or you think you want to work from a different one, just make sure you bring it with you on that session. I was gonna say our, our lion doesn't uh, is laying around now. Yeah, what well, the lion at the wildlife park? We yeah. Do, yeah. Fred, oh, he's Fred drew her pen pal's dog. He's called Archie. Oh, awesome! So, is that uh, Fred? Was that because of the draw alongs? Has it made you more confident with your artwork that you feel like you can draw people's pets for them now? Which, if that is the case, that's blooming awesome. That will make me smile. 
I'm use I'm just doing the last five minutes now. Oh god, this is the most I've ever had to rush on a picture. <laughs> last five minutes now. I'm going to focus on the face. I hope I don't muck any more of it out. That's, That's what it. you don't give everyone pictures. Yeah, Isn't they're it? pets. Like yeah. Lion and what is that? There's another few more, aren't there? Bray says she guesses. Oh, I reckon so. I reckon. You've obviously, I've seen the difference over the last term with everybody that's been um, regularly attending these draw longs. I can see your skills developing and improving. It's really nice to see that journey. You're definitely all getting more refined with your artwork. It's great. I definitely have. Yeah. It's nice because it doesn't take a lot. You can see it straight away, can't you? You, can, mm. you just flick through your pages of your sketchbook and go, wow. I, I, you know, I, two months ago I was drawing like yeah. that. Now look at my drawings. I used to scribble, and now I'm like doing this. I used to have an iPad with a pen thing, so I tried digital art. Ooh, oh, digital art is something that we yeah. want to explore. Um, that's what my dad's going to get, one of those little pens. There's a app that just downloaded on there that's literally like... Just for drawing. There's just so much paper everywhere. It's just a massive, like, um, what do you call them? It's just like, um, it's just a big paper tip, basically. Do you mean electronic, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just really big, so you can... Um, have, quick reminder to submit your entries. Oh, yes, so thank you, Joe. So if any of you participated in the photography competition last week and you were uploading posts of your photos, but you're actually want to enter it into the competition you need to email me at technology outlook.com by 7 p.m this evening now you don't have to have com completed a, a photo for every individual post it might just be one photo that you want to submit um then just email that just let us know which prompt you used if you didn't join in last week but you're interested then you can see the prompts on there you can go and get some photos today even you don't have to have uploaded them onto the posts for you to be able to enter the competition um, and there are prizes. So the first prize is a fully funded creative craft course where you get a qualification. So that's up to the value of six hundred pound. And then there's free runner up prizes of fifty pound vouchers towards any of the qualifications as well. So you might already be on a course and you can just um, get a discount from it or you might be on a course and you want to try another course. So it's a, a good opportunity to sort of try before you buy. Or you might already be on a course. Not really fast on doing another course, but you could give it away as a present to somebody else that you know might want to join. So that would be awesome what's, too. What's the third prize then? So there's free runner-up prizes. So free people get vouchers. So one person okay. gets the, a whole yeah. course and then three people get vouchers. So there's four four prizes to be won overall. I think I'm going to have to stop. Now, I actually think um, I need more green in the town. But... As it goes, that was a really tricky picture and um, a whole new challenge for me, something I haven't done before. So I'm going to leave it there. Where's my pencil? Because I need to sign it, obviously. What's the pictures for today? What are the pictures for today? Yeah, for the... Uh, uh, um... Last week. So... Um, plus, it's nice that you tell us the pencils you're using, and on some other art lessons, you can't do the art right because you don't have the right stuff that the artist is using. Oh well, I, t I try and keep it all. My dragon, my iguana dragon. I think that's fairly, fairly realistic as a dragon. Quite pleased with that, and I'm really, really looking forward to seeing your creations later. Do you want me to show yours, Michael? This is Michael's finished product. So he added the forked ton that we were talking about, and that's his colourful dragon as well. So thanks for joining us. Like I say, we won't be here next week because it's Bank Holiday Monday. We are here the following week. All of the events are up on the main Facebook page now, so you can just, if you click and join them now, then it will act as a reminder for when the next ones are because there's a couple of breaks because of a couple of bank holidays. So I know that can be confusing. For, well, it confuses me anyway, so <laughs> I need those reminders of nothing else. But I hope you have a lovely day and I hope you have a lovely rest of the week and yet spoilt with lots of chocolate if you celebrate uh, at the weekend as well. And I will see you all in two weeks' time. Thanks for joining us. See you later. Bye. Bye.